Hey guys, it's been a while on this channel, but like I said in my short that I recently posted, um, that I was coming back up on here. So this video, I wanted to share some small projects <laughs> that I am working on, um, that I'm really excited about. And I, I just, and I have a little mini haul of things, um, but mostly the projects I'm working on are going to be to use things that I already had and just didn't know what to do with. Whew. So... Um, I guess I will begin with, um, I did, if you follow my makeup channel, um, I am obsessed with small things, many things. I have a mini makeup collection with like many sample sizes of things. I have a mini perfume collection that I recently got a, um, re, I re, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I upcycled a mini tabletop bookshelf that I found at a thrift store to be my little mini perfume display. So like the things that I love in full human size, I like them. Oh, I like them being smaller. Um, so with that being said, I'm not going to keep you too long, but I started junk journaling about a year and a half, two years ago. Um, I don't do it as much as I'd like to, um, but I junk journaling look it up uh using journals and where you're you know gluing taping ephemera anything not anything that you can find you know your scraps and like packaging and things to make to make things and I really like junk journaling um but it takes up a lot it takes up a lot of resources and it takes up a lot of time to it can be overwhelming to be creative with full pages full size pages so anyway I'm scrolling through the loves of TikTok and I see many junk journals What's a mini junk journal? Um, I actually started one a while ago, but um, for example, this is one that I started with the micro happy notes and um, I kind of abandoned this little guy for a while and I was doing bigger junk journaling, right? I'm like, oh, that's cute. Anyway, fast forward back to the TikToks. I revisited this and um, the people in, on TikTok were using these. I must admit, I did buy, I did get these. These are should be coming from Amazon. These little three ring binders with, yeah, these little three ring binders and they're being their junk journals. These are like $7 on Amazon. I do have them coming. But I went through my craft stuff and I was like, I actually have many three ring binders but years ago. Let's talk about it. Staple, I love little things. Staples carries these, um, these three ring binders <laughs> with paper. How cute are they? The paper is a two by three size paper. How cute are they? They have been sitting in this box, living in my little tiny box um, for so long and never known what to do with them. Um, the micro notes are cute, but the rings are limited. I have a couple micro notes we'll get into in a second, um, but these are so cute. So what I'm gonna do is turn them into junk journals. I am going to cover them, you know, decorate the cover and use these um, to do my junk journaling. It's gonna be really fun. Um, and it's a way to, if you're overwhelmed with big junk journals, just do mini spreads if you're overwhelmed. I have a lot of small paper scraps and everything and I just thought it would be so fun. I have them, I'm gonna have them forever because they come with this much paper and then the refills of the paper are 50 cents. So I remember, I don't even remember when I got these, but I have one, two, three, four, six of these little thing binders. How cute. And I have refilled paper, but I don't think I'm ever going to even need to use the refill paper. But I have I have six of them. And how cute is that going to be? Little duck travel. Um, I also have, we're talking about many things right now. So anyway, mini office supply stationery. How cute are these? I do have the two coming with the clip cover. Um, I also have one coming. This is what I have coming. Um show you this on my on my phone here of uh, not much I just ordered the two because I wanted to be like everybody else they were seven dollars I wanted to be like everybody else I was like don't go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff you have a bunch of stuff but I just couldn't resist that and this because it matches my big planner this is for cash saving and stuff but I just wanted the cover it is a three ring mini three ring binder folio cover and it's in a snapshot how cute is that so I do have that coming <laughs> um 
And I don't know if I want to turn that into like a mini planner or something. I don't think it's going to be a junk journal, but I thought it was so cute. Anyway, that's what we have for that. Um, but these are going to be, so the next video I want to record is me creating the cover. Um, I'm definitely going to Mod Posh fabric with these. I'm thinking about doing like different themes. Um, I have a lot of vintage stuff. So I know I'm going to do like a vintage girly one. I think I want a dark academia one. I have a lot of dark stickers and things like that. So the spreads will be related to that. I don't know colors but i thought they'd be cute for that i'm not going to use these or anything else and i have them they've been sitting in a box um i don't think i'm going to use the micro note happy notes for junk journaling i think they're just going to be mini journals or something else now um because i like the three ring binders a little bit better uh but we have those and we're going to have those organized and stored we have the paper so that's the first little haha <laughs> small project we're working on. Then the next project I'm working on, you guys, I don't know if you know this, but I watercolor paint. That's that's my favorite medium to paint. I've painted I, I literally don't put them on display. I don't know why. Um but I have paintings. I'm not that good though, but I really enjoy watercolor painting. Um here's a couple. Let's see what I have here. Like, I like doing, like, this size um, of paintings. I do bigger ones. I do. I have plenty of bigger ones as well. But I really enjoy, like, smaller size. And I could do, I could go even, even smaller with my paintings. Um, yeah. Again, not the best. But that's a little bit bigger. I have bigger, I have even bigger, per se. So, but these take, I want to paint more, but they take, they take time. They do, I love this one. I was working on like water and reflection in this one. Um, they take time. And so um, I was like, of course I can do tiny paintings. Um, I have the, you know, I have plenty of watercolor pads and I was like, what if I made a little tiny watercolor kit? Well, well, also my watercolors are full size and things like that. And again, tiny is cute. So I looked through the things that I had. I looked through the things that I had in my in my stash, and I have these uh, these house uh, oil, um, these little tins. This brand that doesn't make they don't make them anymore. How cute are these? How cute are these? People make mini watercolor palettes, mini watercolor Altoy tins, things like that. But I didn't want to buy anything, and I kept these. Um, how cute are they? So they're gonna be little watercolor palettes. I'm gonna figure it out. This is just a project that I will film. I'm gonna figure out how I wanna do it. I've watched a lot of videos, but they're gonna be little watercolor palettes. So I'm gonna have a little mini watercolor kit. So those are my two small projects. And then the other kind of small project, which is not really a project, it's just an organization task, is when I am out and about, again, this box has been sitting here for years. I like tiny things, tiny office supplies. And so I need to organize them. <laughs> um, and I thought it would be cute that like when I'm junk journaling or if I'm writing something in um, the mini journals to use the mini office supplies. How how cute, how cute. They're here. Um, I get them from my five below Dollar Tree. I see something tiny. Like I remember I got this little pack of tiny mini felt pens. They work. I have plenty, plenty of mini gel pens from various brands and I just, I keep them in my stationary area and I just think they're so cute. And I was like, girl, I was like, girl, go through this box. So I went through and I was like, well, I need to organize them and have my tiny things out. <laughs> um, so it's all about using what you have. I do have a little bit of a mini haul of things I got to help me with this. But again, I didn't want to go out and just buy a bunch of craft stuff and ephemera because I want to use up what I have. But let me just show you really quickly what I did purchase while I was out. So I went to the Dollar Tree because I was looking for some fabric scraps. I realized I don't have any fabric scraps. Um, didn't find any fabric scraps, but it's Halloween right now. And I found, or oh, Halloween time, these boxes. How cute are these storage boxes? A dollar and 25 cents. These are the same type of boxes you'll see at like Michael's, uh, let me back up a little bit. Like Michael's and, um, you know. So just a little storage box. And I picked up two uh, sizes. I got four boxes total. And this is gonna house, help house, um, different things, ephemera. I just thought they were very cute. Um, like I said, different things, ephemera, um, just st stuff. <laughs> um, so I got this, the apothecary design, and then I got the Tales of Terror 
design here. And um, so those would be good storage boxes. Those, what, five bucks. And then I also found these because one of the covers that I do wanna do for my um, uh, junk journal, I'm gonna have a little bling. And I do not have any bling stickers, so I picked these up from the Dollar Tree, okay? And then going to, um, where, where, where are we? Hobby Lobby. Um, I picked up, not much, but this stuff was on sale. First of all, this, this was just cute. I, I'm not going to lie. They were 40% off of the $1.99. Look how tiny these little glass jars are. And I definitely can incorporate them into my junk journal, maybe making a charm or something, put a little glitter in it. But I, some things just bring you joy. Um, these were 50% off. I do like steampunk. I do love steampunk. These are from the jewelry area, but they were 50% off and I'm definitely going to incorporate some gears and stuff. I have three ideas already for covers and those are going to be the first videos that I put out with this mini junk journal series. Um, also I still do my planner every week, every single week. I think I need to do a flip through of how that's going. <laughs> um, but I know I want to do a steampunk themed cover and I'm so excited for that steampunk themed cover. Like, I'm so excited for it. Um, and then not too much more. Oh, I picked up, these were also 50% off. I picked up some photo corners cause they're going to go once I create these covers for the book. I want to put some corners on. Did not have any of those. I just got a pack of those. There's 20 in here, which is, which is good for five books which I have six, but whatever. Cool, right? And then I have a couple items for my mini watercolor kit. I think I'm going to use one of the boxes as the, to hold all the watercolor stuff, but I have some wax sticks. Um, if you don't know what these are, these are used, um, you know, you draw things on the paper or use them for where you don't want color to stick on the watercolor paper. Kind of like those wax crayons when you get like an egg dye kit and you write on it and then once you dip the egg and pull it out, that still remains white. So I picked up some of these to go in the my little kit. And some pans, 99 cent. I found some watercolor half pans. I'm probably gonna need, um, and I, it's six in a pack. I picked up all the packs they had. It's only three packs. Um, so if I'm gonna keep my painting in here, I can fit, say I could probably fit a couple more, um, and we'll do, we'll do that. I have plenty of brushes. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make mini brushes or what, but yeah. And then the final thing that is a little bit of a storage. It was I thought it was a good deal at Hobby Lobby. It was eleven ninety nine. This storage container, um, just some drawer one two three four. Five, six, seven, eight smaller ones, and then some bigger ones to house those mini pens and things like that. And this can sit right on my crafting area, but for $12, I was like, okay, because the tinier things, um, I have storage and organization for my ephemera, my scraps and everything, but on this small level, this small, you know, I don't, and they're going to get lost in the bigger things. Um, my craft area is pretty well organized let me know if you want a tour of that but I just wanted to share with you these mini um projects that I'm working on so we're going to do mini watercolor kits mini junk journals and um yeah the mini office supplies are just there but these are the two things that I wanted to share with you that that are going to be almost like a series coming up so like I'm going to do some more paintings do some mini paintings on camera and things like that um and the planner stuff is still there and like decor and things like that. So yeah, I wanted to share that with you. I don't have anything else to share, um, but small project <laughs> with big results. And I'm really, really excited about these little binders um, finally having a home and finally having a use. Um, and that makes me really happy. I also wanted to show you this. Back in 2020, I called myself making a mini planner. Um, she's cute. Making a mini Happy Notes planner. I printed out, look, 2020, I printed out, look, look at how cute it is. 
Look at how cute it is. So funny. I might repurpose this. So to-do list might be a daily notebook kind of thing. We'll figure it out. But uh, you guys will see it. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and being patient on this channel. Um, I do not want to take away from my makeup channel. So I have not figured out a right schedule. Um, but this is going to be things that I do anyway. Like I haven't stopped crafting. I just never film it. <laughs> so this is going to be something that I don't think is going to take much of my extra time in terms of, you know, prepping and things because I sit over here and I craft all the time. I just don't film it. Um, and I can just throw these into the rotation when I'm editing my makeup videos. So I'm really excited about that. So what I'm going to do today is get everything, um, organized and set up and, um, start, start doing things. Yeah. I'm really excited. So can't wait for you guys to see these projects. Love ya. Bye. Also, the nails might be going short. They're fake. They're not mine. I don't have that much of an emotional attachment to them, yet I do at the same time. But um, I don't know. It's getting cold. I want to wear gloves. <laughs> so we might go short for a while. I've had this length of nails for many, many years, but we might go short for a while and then come back. So as, as when you see my nails change, don't judge me. Love you guys. Bye.